welcome to a very rainy day in Paris. Right, we need to go. As you can see, you're not at Disney anymore. Uh, it's raining a bit. Yeah, so we're gonna get the train into Paris because our our train home goes from Gardner Lord Adam staying in Paris for a couple of days. And we're uh, gonna get rather wet. Uh, how much I'm going to be able to film and show you today is kind of weather dependent, uh, so don't expect a huge amount. But I will add on a small pool and stuff at the end of this when I get back home. Might be loads. It might be. If it's peeing it down with rain, I'm not going to be getting a camera, out, am I? No, I guess not. So, welcome. Let's see where we get to today. There you have a very rainy day in Paris. Apologies I didn't film too much, but as you can possibly tell from those clips, it was very, very wet and I didn't want to damage my camera at all. So we're now home. It's actually the next morning. I've had a lovely sleep, so we're, we're all set. So I thought I would show you a very small haul. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I did get the bits that I wanted to get. So we'll start with the one non-Disney purchase, which you have already seen. And that was a pair of black jeans from Uniqlo from when we went on our little expedition to go and get pizza and trousers. The button came off of his one. So that, that was that purchase. That's the only non-Disney thing I got. Uh, let's go to the free things. So this is going to be weird. I understand this is weird. But I kept one of the Disney Now Paris 30th napkins from our trip to Chez Remy because I have something from Tokyo Disneyland which can go in a frame. I have the buttons from Florida, you know like your first visit buttons and stuff like that. So I wanted something from Paris and this is no shade to anybody that buys pins but I personally couldn't justify spending like 13 euros on a pin because the one I liked was in that price stuff. And I couldn't justify that, what with some of the other things that I have bought. So I kept the napkin, because then that can go in my little Disney frame that I'm planning on doing when we eventually get our house. Other things, which I've got to try and do one-handed. Other things, you'll know we went to the Animation Academy, so we have our pictures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, we all know pizza's better, we don't need to go through that again. Um, but that was fun and that's obviously a free souvenir. And Pete bought the picture from Big Thunder Mountain because he has one very similar from when he was a child on the same ride, so he bought that one. So I went to Paris with two things in mind that I wanted. As you know, I wanted to get a Christmas ornament, so we went with this Mickey one where he's holding a Christmas tree, um, and that was 13 euros. And that's partly what I mean by the pin, in that we got a Disney ornament that's relatively large for the same price as a small pin. And I really wanted either a t-shirt or a jumper because well, I, I got that ticket t-shirt. If you haven't seen the sort of half compact with me I did, I'll link that up as well. But I got a t-shirt last time I went when I was about 13, 14. And obviously it still lasted because I still wear it in bed. Um, so I knew I wanted some sort of clothing. Knew it was going to be pricey, but figured it would probably last quite a long time. So in the end I went for this sweatshirt. I'm, I'm into sweatshirts at the moment and I really like the blue colour. So the Disneyland Paris and the Mickey are embroidered along with the Walt Disney here. And then the text along the bottom and then the 
so you've got the park icon and then a ride so you've got studios and tower of terror and then you've got disneyland park and then one of the lands this was discovery land um, and i really like it and this was 45.99 so on the pricey side but cheaper than a spirit jersey and that kind of thing and it's more my style so that's everything that we got from our trip we were never gonna go ham on stuff as much as i love all of the souvenirs and could have quite happily had all the souvenirs i personally just can't justify spending all of that and i knew i knew what i wanted when i went out and that's what we got so yeah overall we had a really fun trip um i think from let's go best and worst ride shall we so my favorite ride in walt disney studios was tower of terror i was just very surprised by it obviously i've ridden the one in florida well, I say it obviously, you don't know. I've ridden the one in Florida. I enjoyed the concept, but the one in Paris just took me by surprise um, more than I anticipated. Although I did enjoy Remy, uh, the Ratatouille ride, and Crusher's Coaster, Tara Tara just took, took the biscuit for that one. And then in Disneyland Park, my favourite ride was probably Big Thunder Mountain. I did enjoy that one a lot and I did enjoy Buzz a lot which were the last rides that me and Pete did once my family had left us on that our last day as it was our first visit for like a decade if not more I don't really have any tips and tricks for you we went the week before Easter so I know London schools had broken up but I don't know if the whole of the UK had I also don't know about other holidays in Europe it was busy the longest wait we had was 100 minutes for Crush's Coaster and that was about that time for pretty much a whole trip um, and same with like Peter Pan's flight that was at like 40 minutes for our whole trip that didn't really get any less but on the whole most things were sort of somewhere between 20 and 40 minute waits which is not too bad um, considering how it could have been seeing as we were going Easter time um, but it did mean that we got I think we got every ride bar about five done so we didn't do the Toy Story ones in Walt Disney Studios and we didn't do the teacups and is it Autopia the car one in Disneyland Park and I mean we could have done but we just chose not to we did other things so yeah really really enjoyed the trip uh, it's definitely one that I will remember for a long time and although I think I've said it in most of the videos if you've seen them but I do just want to say a big thank you to my family and to Pete for taking me and for indulging my Disney obsession and just really really grateful so thank you very much so if you've enjoyed this video and this series please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and you fancy it please go ahead and subscribe obviously now we're going to start ramping up to our wedding because that is coming up very very soon so we're going to move into some wedding content probably over the next sort of month or so and i'll see you in those videos bye